We have Miss Amparin Lingdo contesting from East Shillong constituency up against some rivals. However, she's right here with me. Let's talk to her now. Miss Lingdo, first of all, how confident are you of winning and take it all this time once again? Uh, I will never use the word confident because we actually have to make sure that we work hard. If you invest the correct time, the correct attention to your constituents and the constituency, then I think if you say, am I ready and confident, I'll say yes. Okay, so fair enough. I want you to talk to us a little bit about the fact that elections are not new for you, but elections this time is new because you're contesting from the NPP. So how does that make you feel? Nothing new. I mean, it's a party. Unfortunately, things went wrong in the Congress. Now we just have to move on. All right. And now, post poll alliance. All right. So I want to bring in two parties here, which is the UDP and the BJP, because they have been very critical about the Konrad Sangma led NPP government. Now, I don't want, ma'am, I don't want an answer from you that we will see what happens after the polls. Will you go into an alliance with the UDP and the BJP, considering what has happened in the past? We are getting the minimum requirement of seats 31. That we have a fantastic government that will deliver to people of the state of Meghalaya. Brilliant. Just a couple of questions more, ma'am. So what are a few things at the top of your mind that you would do for your constituency? Top three things that you will do when you get voted to power from the NPP ticket, of course. I will definitely ensure that my markets get completed. One here, one in other parts of my constituency. I hope things go well. I hope that I will get the support of all the people. There's a lot of underemployment and unemployment, so we must focus on entrepreneurship, which I'm trying my best to do. The next thing is I'm going to make sure that I protect every woman and every girl on the street, not just for my constituents, for this entire state. I will not let anyone go into any kind of harm in the next five years like I've always done. I have always fought for the rights of women in, 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 in conflict, women you know, who are oppressed and I want to make sure that I continue to be that for the people of the state of Meghalaya. And you know, the Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong had said that there is no saffron wave, there's only the coal wave, but may we say we have the NPP wave? 110%.